episode of spectroscopy. So far we have learned a fair number of molecular vibrations when we were studying about IR spectroscopy in our previous videos and we came to know okay fine if a particular molecule is undergoing vibrations then it can have different types of vibrational modes including your stretching vibrations bending vibrations and these are further categorized into the different types of vibrational modes today we will be learning about another type of spectroscopic technique let's see what it is study about the elementary aspects of rotational spectroscopy but in the microwave region now as far as the rotational spectroscopy is concerned it is also called as microwave spectroscopy and it uses the microwave part of the electromagnetic radiation which actually lies in the wavelength range of 30 centimeter to 0 0.03 centimeter in other words we can also say that it lies between the infrared radiation and the radio waves on the frequency spectrum the characteristic of molecule considered under microwave spectroscopy of a particular molecule is its dipole moment as you can see over here we have taken HCl molecule and in HCl chlorine is highly electronegative in nature due to which it withdraws the paired uh, electron or the shared pair of electron uh, towards itself thereby imparting partial negative charge to the chlorine and hydrogen having partial positive charge. In the figure below the HCl you can also see that uh, the electron cloud has a bit shifted towards the chlorine which I have marked it with a blue color so that you can see the difference. So basically what happens if I am an observer who is in a stationary position I am not moving at all I am stationary I am fixed in my position and I am observing this particular molecule which is having its dipole moment and at the same time this molecule is rotating also it is having rotational motion also. So, when an, as an observer who is stationary, I see such a molecule, then what happens? What do I observe? How will I see or how will this molecule appear to me? Actually, it will appear as a rotating polar molecule and it will look like an oscillating dipole. Just like in a dipole which is oscillating, as you can see in the figure uh, left on the left hand side, okay the oscillating dipole it will look like and which can stir or which can change the electromagnetic field into oscillation okay so a molecule with permanent dipole moment actually actually generates the fluctuating or oscillating electric field by its rotation why because uh, this molecule is having that capability right so in that case what happens when the frequency of the oscillation of molecules becomes identical to the frequency of electric field component of the incident microwave radiation then what happens the phenomena of resonance occurs. In other words you can also understand it in a way that okay the frequency of oscillation of these molecules is identical to that of the incident microwave radiation. So whenever they both the frequencies match with each other the phenomena of resonance occurs and at this particular moment actually the transfer of energy can take place. Okay, So we can say that those molecules having a permanent dipole moment they can interact with the electric field component of the microwave radiation and it is these molecules which are actually termed as microwave active molecules just like HCl, HF, CO or CN and all the molecules similar to them just like them all the molecules possessing the permanent dipole moment. So they are only microwave active molecules why because these molecules only have the capability of changing the electromagnetic field into oscillation or having a resonance with that. On the other hand, if we talk about those molecules which do not carry such a permanent dipole moment just like O2, 
just because O2 is made up of similar atoms of oxygen. So definitely no question of having a dipole moment arises with them. So these molecules, these type of molecules like O2, N2, H2, OCS, etc. They do not have their permanent dipole moment and hence they do not exhibit rotational spectrum and they are called as microwave inactive molecules. So uh, in short we can say that it is not all the molecules existing in the world that are capable of giving us microwave spectrum. No it is not the case. Actually there are certain molecules only which can be microwave active which can give us the spectrum in microwave spectroscopy and those molecules are called microwave active molecules and which are those molecules the ones which have their permanent dipole moment this is actually the basic story behind the microwave spectroscopy to begin